ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਮੁੱਖ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਹੈਲਥ ਅਫਸਰ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਥੈਰੇਸ ਟੈਮ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮਾਡਲਿੰਗ ਅਨੁਮਾਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹੁਣ ਦੇਸ਼ ਅੰਦਰ ਓਮਿਕਰੋਨ ਵੈਰੀਐਂਟ ਦਾ ਖਤਰਾ ਘੱਟ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ। ਉਹਨਾਂ ਅੱਗੇ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਪਾਬੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੌਲੀ-ਹੌਲੀ ਖਤਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇੱਕਦਮ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਪਾਬੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਖਤਮ ਕਰਨ ਨਾਲ ਕੇਸਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਫਿਰ ਤੋਂ ਭਾਰੀ ਵਾਧਾ ਵੇਖਣ ਨੂੰ ਮਿਲ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ। Since the last update, multiple indicators show that Canada is past the peak of the Omicron wave. So infection rates remain elevated and hospitals are heavily strained. In the presence of overall high vaccination rates, health authorities are closely monitoring improvements of these epidemiological indicators in order to guide the stepwise easing of measures. For the immediate future, key preventive measures remain important for relieving the accumulated pressure on hospitals. Some measures will also be important for protecting vulnerable populations and maintaining readiness for a possible resurgence. This includes reducing vaccination coverage gaps and encouraging the use of personal protective practices such as avoiding crowding, opting for well-ventilated spaces, and wearing masks as appropriate. Though we are hopeful we are approaching a period of reduced transmission, allowing Canadians a chance to regain a sense of normalcy, we know that SARS-CoV-2 virus is not going away. To that end, we must also use this time to prepare for the longer term by maintaining a cohesive approach across the country, strengthening capacity for rapid detection and response and using personal practices as and where needed to better protect ourselves and each other. Note, due to changes in data availability, there is significant uncertainty in these forecasts. The three scenarios shown in each figure show that while Omicron activity has likely peaked, easing of public health measures could still lead to resurgence. The blue line trajectory show that with a moderate effect of easing public health measures we could expect a limited resurgence of daily cases with potential for a more modest resurgence in daily hospital admissions towards the spring. The red line trajectory shows that with a more substantial effect of easing measures we could expect a larger resurgence of daily omicron cases potentially exceeding prior peaks but similarly the peak of daily hospital admissions could be much lower. While a resurgence of cases is not unexpected given the characteristics of the Omicron variant, the good news is that current levels of immunity in the Canadian population are expected to reduce the impacts of the Omicron infections going forward.